everybody. Well, at last she's finished. And I've decided to call her Raven. Um, and that's basically because of the dangle that I've put on the uh, spine of the book, which does come off. So it's just a clip. Uh, just hang on a second, I'll just move the book. And it's a raven skull. Uh, obviously not uh, not a real one, um, but modelled on a real one. And uh, a raven feather and some black lace, some black uh, from a scarf. It's um, black velvet and some uh, ribbon. And I thought that looked uh, ideal to go with uh, the journal. So we've uh, called her Raven. I'm just going to put this on one side so it doesn't get damaged. And because of that, I've actually gone and put a small little image there of a raven. Bring it in a little bit. Uh, so, uh, we've got the key that unlocks. And you can see now why I made it so wide. It's because it's quite, uh, she's quite chubby now. So this opens out like so and then we open out the first section so the first section we've got and you can see I started to fill it with uh, some ephemera um, some of the tags that I've made myself some Im images and again um, most of these images have come from uh, Lady Black Blood printables so this pops up and you've got some journal in there as before and then they just pop in there like so and then this opens out and we've got this little writing area here that flips up like that and then I've just put a sort of tarot card playing card um, just slots into that space there and then that opens out like so and here I've just done a bundle of my journaling bits and pieces so there's an envelope, there's some vintage paper um, etc etc there for you to actually journal in. Just slot that in there like so. And then here, this slides across, and we have got the little notebook that just slots into there, as so. And then that just slides across there like that and keeps that there. And I've put some little tags on the ribbon that makes up the little book. And then if we move along a little bit, we've got this was a white envelope with a window. And I've just gone and put in there, that was me experimenting with putting images on top of images. I don't know what the actual word is, but anyway. And then um, some of these are from Tim Holt stamps. And then that closes like that. That closes like that. And then that clips over there. Then we've got our writing pen that I showed you how to make. Um, oh, it's just got caught there out of an ostrich feather and a piece of craft card and that just slots neatly in there and then someone said to me that the that looked a bit like an owl so you've got the two eyes and the beak uh, wasn't intentional happy accident and then moving along there like so we've got another bundle there that i've popped into there with um, an envelope and some um, vintage looking paper and that is actually vintage ledger paper that came out of a vintage journal. This opens out and we have now got the two little envelopes here and I've put some white card in that slots into there. And then these are the little tags that slot in again for journaling. And it's the same in, in both. And then on this one we can swing this across like that and this drops down. And again, I've just put some images on there, and that's the same from um, um, one of the, is it Alan Edgar Poe, I think it is? Not sure, you have to let me know. And then that turns over, and we've got here just an area there that slots in, and that's, I've just put a, um, a card. That is one of the images, I think, from, uh, I'm sure it's from Graphic Fairies, from... Um, their image and then there's another of the playing cards that just slots into there and then here we've got oh 
oh come out, come out, come out. There we've got one of the images and that's um, a Lady Black Blood um, image and I've just added it to the black card just to stiffen it up a bit. And then here we've got um, another saying, another image from um, Lady Black Blood. That's one of the um, graphic fairy ones. And again, we've just put a little, yeah, because there's the uh, the author there. Um, anyway, so and then again, we've got another little tag there, a little envelope there that I've just slotted in. And. Then we had the medicine book, if you remember rightly, that I just popped in there. And um, just to make sure that that stays nice and safe and tight, we've just got these little images that we're just going to pop in there and that keeps all that nice and safe, like that. And then that folds over, that folds over, this comes around like so. And then onto that one, oops, like so. I can only do it. There we go. And keeps that section fastened. And then moving on just a little bit, we've got the four black envelopes that I've made into a little mini journal. Uh, so I normally make these and I have um, five or six envelopes and then make them into a, um, a junk journal. So again, I've just put some images in, um, into them, another little bundle there to journal on, another card, that's the bigger card that slots in and out. Now you will notice on my other videos I hadn't stained the black paper and all I did was that was to get the same, um, the same stenciling as I've done on these ones. But this time I just used, I didn't want white because I thought white was too going to be too harsh. I just used um, grey gesso uh, and I actually make my own um, grey gesso, which is dead easy because it's just the uh, the white and the black. And then we've just got some more little images. That's um, an image of a dog skull or a wolf skull. And I think that's an Andy Skinner one from his Skullduggery um, stamp collection. Then another little journaling card just slots into there like that and then here I've just made a little folder really um, and I've just put it onto the paper clip and then you can just add your own uh, bits and pieces inside it and then turning over we've got another journaling section we've got a raven skull on a little um, uh, on a little tag and again another raven on there which matches the obviously the theme of the, the book. Because when I was doing it, I didn't really know what the outcome was going to be. Um, and then I came across the uh, the Raven School, which I forgot I'd bought. So hence the reason she became the Raven. Uh, another little journaling area there. And then this brings us on to the black notebook, where I've just put a load of, um, just hand sewn a load of just white, plain white paper to, to journal on. I've got no idea how many pages there is there. There must be, I don't know, at least um, 20 or 30, I would have thought. And then on the back, I'm just going to put, if you remember rightly, I just put the um, the pocket there and I'm just going to put a post, vintage postcard and a tag to go on there. And then on this section here, this is where we use the piece of jewellery uh, as a uh, holder there and it fastens to this little uh, envelope that's there. So that opens out, the envelope opens out, these pull out and then you've got this that opens out and you can put um, bits and pieces in there like so and some more journaling space there. So uh, they all slot in there like that to hold that in place. And then we open it out and we've got some more um, journaling paper there. Another tag uh, and another um, just little journaling card. And I think all three of those come from Graphic Fairy on their premier site. And then here we've got uh, just those little areas there just to slot in some smaller tags 
and then that opens out as so and you've got a little tag popped in there and then this is the Zion book which I've done a separate video on to how to make a Zion book uh, I obviously did mine in the black card and that just is a, a little pocket there ready for uh, a little tag and I've made mine into sort of like a photograph album uh, and again you've got the, uh, the tag pocket there which reminds me of a v-neck jumper really so that just slots uh, into there and then you've got some more journaling space if you want to use the, the back paper there uh, and then that closes that closes and then we go on to there like so and then we move on to the back page so let's just move it along a bit gosh it weighs weighs more than a kilo now with all the bits and pieces in it so uh, I'll just take out this tag here but we've got um, a tag there and then this opens up and we've got some journaling space there and then this opens up we've got um, a magnet underneath his skull and let's just move you along a bit oh there we go uh, a magnet underneath there just there which keeps everything closed and then that's just a brown envelope which I've gone and put a little card in a little journaling card that opens out and you've got some more journaling space there and then we've got a tag here now underneath there we've actually got the brad so I've had to hide the brad so I've just done that with this raven um, label to hide that brad and then here we've got just a little journaling bundle there uh, to finish everything off and that's her complete so uh, for those who watched from beginning to end thank you so much you did really well to watch all the um, the videos if you did watch all the videos uh, very impressed thank you for all the subscribers who subscribed uh, thank you so much and you're going to have to look out now for my next project uh, which I'm not sure what it's going to be uh, I don't think it's going to be quite as long as this one if I'm honest and see you at a later date now don't forget to check me out on my uh, Instagram my Etsy shop and this is where this is going to be going into my Etsy shop you'll see the link uh, underneath and um, thank you again for watching I've really enjoyed it thank you for all the lovely comments I've had and all those people that have highlighted any mistakes I've made I do appreciate it because it makes me um, be more aware um, and I'm quite open to um, uh, as long as it's constructive uh, criticism I'm, I'm quite happy with that uh, and luckily I've had nothing but um, really nice things said so I'm really really pleased so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again shortly thanks for watching bye